everyone. I actually thought I was done with the pavilion, but today we are going to make a last detail for this one. Let me see if I can show you in there. I think you can see it. The fountain here, the lion head fountain. Um, and let's see if that's the last part we're going to build on this one. Anyway, let's get to it. So I actually cheated a tiny bit with this one. I found the STL for the lion head online and then I took that into Tinkercad and made the rest of the design for this little fountain in there. So that's Tinkercad.com. Now I'm going to use my dark grey Vallejo model color here and I'm just gonna paint everything of this little thing with this color. Just rub the paint really good into all the small crevices and into all the details in the bottom of the uh, fountain and so on. I am going to put the link for this one in the info box below and if I can find the original lion head again I am going to link for that as well. And again the lion head was not made by me but I thought it was fitting really well for a wall mounted fountain. I left that to dry completely before I continued. I am going to mix a tiny bit of my white with a really, really, really tiny bit of this dark grey color from before, uh, if I can get a drop out of it. And then I am using a toothpick, toothpick, toothpick to um, mix that all together. I am going to make a dry brush here. So you need a piece of kitchen towel where you can wipe your paintbrush after you dipped it into the paint then you are uh, kind of wiping all the paint off again and with the tiny tiny amount that is left in the paintbrush you are brushing over everything on your model this way you get this um, highlight effect from um, things that is kind of standing out on your little model or your 3d print or whatever you are dry brushing on I did speed up the video here a tiny bit so that it looks like I am rushing through this one but I do take my time carefully and uh, doing every edge and every place of this really carefully and some places you have to go over more than once to get the result that you really really want to have. So if you like your model to be a little darker only go over it very lightly and once. If you want the highlight to show a bit more, you can go over it a few times and then uh, layer up the light colors on there. I wanted mine to be a little more bright than it was, so I put even more white into my gray mixture of paint. And I just took some of that on my paintbrush and again wiped it all off on the kitchen towel and then I am just giving it one more layer and this time I am going very uh, slowly and carefully over the model uh, and you can always wipe off a little of the paint if you get too much on there so it's really a matter about how you like it here you see it next to the one we did with a darker gray color I let that dry for a long time to make sure it was all dry before I continued and then I have this crystal tech ribbon that is a one millimeter string. Um, I think it's made for making jewelry and stuff like that. I'm really not sure. But I'm using that for the water coming out the lion's mouth. So I'm just dipping it into a tiny bit of UV resin, placing it where I want it to come out and holding my UV light until it is hardening in place. Then I am bending this little ribbon down into the bottom of uh, the water reservoir or what it is called so that it looks like it is spitting the water down into this little thing here. Correcting the stream so it is in the right position. And then I am going to fill um, one third of this bottom part with UV resin. You can do half of it or uh, the among you like. I'm making sure that the little uh, 
ribbon here is placed where I want it before I'm using my UV light on it. And make sure this is really, really fully cured before you continue from here. When that is all hardened, I am again using some more of my UV resin, putting it on this little ribbon here, um, making it very translucent and watery looking. Um, so I really like that. And I'm going to try to make kind of a drip on this little string so it looks like the water is dripping out of the lion's mouth. And then I'm using my UV torch to um, harden it right there so that it is not uh, going anywhere where I don't want it. And I'm just continuing with this until I'm happy with the little stream coming out of the lion's mouth. Then I am taking some of the cotton from a cotton swap and I'm kind of ripping it apart. And then I am going to pop it into my UV resin and make sure that this little piece have uh, been soaked in the resin. And I am placing that around the drip of water here in the fountain so that it looks like it is splashing up water at the bottom of it. I'm, I'm making sure it is placed so that I like it. And then again I'm using my UV torch to uh, harden it. And there we go, this little water fountain, lion head fountain is all done. The back side of this one is not so good, it was the first one I ever did, so I'm using this myself. Uh, I'm using some of my tacky glue on it, if it want to come out of the tube. I think I need a new one really soon. And then I am going also to take some of my... Um, super glue here to make sure that it is gonna grip really fast and then i hope the tacky glue will make sure it will stay in plat in plus in, in place i found a great spot for it right here under one of the potted plants so i'm just holding it for a second or two and making sure it's sitting like i want it here you see it Making sure that the super glue is gripping and that's all there is for this little craft. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun with this one. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.